Hello everybody, yesterday we learned about the installation part of Nmap. Today we will try to understand how to use the Nmap. But for now we will be using Zenmap which is a GUI version. Alright, let's get started. The operating system which I am going to use is going to be Windows for now. The first step would be to enter the site on which we want to perform the scan. So let's say I have entered flipkart.com. Then we have profile. Here we have a drop down. We will find different types of scan which it provides. Then this was our default command nmap dash t4a dash v what does this indicate t4a loads all the scripts for scanning purpose then we have v which is called verbose output then we have the domain name right so this is the command sorry this is the command till here then we will click on scan We'll have to wait for some time. We have got a open port here. One is four four three and one is eighty. What does that mean? My four four three is the default port for HTTPS, which is the secured version of HTTP, right? And then, what do we have as a second port? We have port 80. Port 80 is the default network port used by the web server to communicate with client computers using HTTP. All right. Then, what all other informations do we have? We have got the information about the trace route used in the port 443 TCP, right? Some other details which we have is ports and host have been displayed here. Then we also have a topology. What does that indicate? We can zoom it. Yeah. It indicates this was the request sent and to reach here we have to go through these many ports and some other information right then we have host details here Host status, address, host name, operating system, ports used, operating system class, TCP sequence, good luck, class, TCP TS, and then some comments. Then we have a scan which was unsaved in map T4 a-v www.flipkart.com So these were some of the details which we got. Service is HTTP proxy. I hope this is clear. See you in the next video. Bye. We can also try different commands and slowly and gradually we will be able to find some other information as well. Bye.